Hello and welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome to a very special unboxing video. Um, I'm very excited for this. Uh, this box has been sitting in my hallway for 24 hours and I haven't opened it. And that, that is amazing. Um, so I want to open it with you. So welcome to the channel and if you're new to the channel click the subscribe button, the like button, the little bell icon and leave a nice little comment. Just say, that's a fantastic jumper, where did you get it from? I don't know, my mum got it for me for my birthday. Anyway, so today we're going to be unboxing another subscription box that I subscribe to because as you were well aware from my HelloFresh unboxing video, I have an issue with subscription boxes because I love them because they come to my door and then I open them and I don't need to go outside and see people because people are scary and weird sometimes. Maybe, maybe just just me, maybe I'm, I'm more scary. I don't know, but still, um, subscription boxes are great. Um, I even have um, a razor subscription box for my um, lovely, clean, fresh, baby skin, soft face um, so I can shave often. Yeah. Uh, cool. Anyway, today's uh, unboxing, um, I will stop rambling and go on to the good stuff. Um, today we are unboxing Beer Bods. Uh, beer Bods is a phenomenal beer subscription service. I used to be that person that would go to the pub and just drink a pint, drink ten pints, be like, yeah, I'll have a pint of that, a pint of that, a pint of that. I'll have a pint of that generic Marston's Brewery Spider-Man villain beer, that would be fantastic. And that is still a great beer and I still love it to this day, but that's not the point. Um, people go out to the pub and they drink beer because they do. It's social. We all get together and we talk and we have fun and we drink a beer and we don't really think about what we're putting into our bodies. As you can tell, my body is a temple. Y yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so we we look at look at, that, look at it in that way. We always um, just have a beer, have a chat. That's it. We're not really thinking about what we're having. And I was always that person um, until one sunny Father's Day that my darling wife bought me the best gift she's ever gotten me, bar my Darth Vader helmet and my Stormtrooper helmet and some of the other cool stuff that I've got. Yeah. Okay, but it was a really good gift still. I mean, I, I love it, and to this day I'm still there since Father's Day two years ago, so I'm still there. Um, and basically, it really opens your eyes to what you are drinking um, and encourages you, as beer boards would say, to drink better beer. Hashtag drink better beer. Anyway. Um, and ever since then, it, it sort of opened your mind to a huge range of possibilities and beers that are just, I want a dark one, I want a light one. That's all I thought about beer, to be perfectly honest with you. Before this, I thought there was dark or there was light. There was an IPA and there was something that was ready brown or a stout. Porters didn't really even exist in my brain, but they did. I knew them. I knew of a porter um, by generic Marston's Hobgoblin, uh, Spider-Man villain uh, brewery. Um, but there was... Uh, but the beer bods will have a huge range of, of beers of different types and sours, IPAs, double IPAs, porters, stouts, um, red, dark lagers, the, the lot, absolutely everything and that is great and it really opens your mind and when you look into the shop and you see a million and one cans and you think, oh, a beer's a beer, and a lot of people do, they just think a beer's a beer and they'll just grab it because it's cheap and they drink it because it's cheap and it's alcohol. But really what you want is those really defined flavours. And that is what, A, every single beer bods gives you. Every beer that you have with beer bods will give you that performance. So you'll have, you might have a beer that you hate, you might have a beer that you love, you might have a new favourite, you might want to buy a case of it straight away, you might not want to ever have it again. But that's the beauty of it. It's actually trying something new. And that's what we really, really need to do. Anyway. The other great thing about beer boards is every Thursday you have one of the beers from your box and you talk about it on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever you want. You can take a fancy picture like I do quite a lot um, and then talk about it. And there's just a huge range of people already subscribed to beer boards to already talk to and their knowledge is massive. So you've either got the people like myself 
who at the time kind of new to beer and just enjoy different flavours and that kind of thing and just there. Or you've got people like, name drop here, Anthony Gladman. Here's his Twitter handle. Please follow him if you want to know a lot about beer. Um, he knows everything. Well, everything. And it's, there are a great amount of humans that you can talk to. And the other thing is, they are humans. No other company can you go online and talk to the directors of the company, talk to the workers, talk to everyone who's employed within the company, and the brewery that makes the beer itself, just like people. Have a chat, have a laugh. It's all about so being social. So it's taking that entire thing of so beer being a social interaction, bringing lots of people together on what is the nation's favourite drink? Potentially, maybe, possibly, if you believe it is, which you might do or you might not. Anyway, so um, pricing I will put down in the description below. Um, and please, 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 after you've finished watching the video, give the guys um, a check, um, get a gift subscription, get a month, whatever you want, just try them out. And I guarantee, I guarantee if you enjoy your beers, you will, it will change your opinion on, on what breweries are what, and it will really open your mind to what's out there. Um, and these guys do a phenomenal job every single time, um, and they're always going to get the best and the brightest possible companies um, and beers. So, without further ado, I'm going to unbox a bit this box with you. So, in this box will be 12 beers, um, and we'll have a look. So, first of all, I just need to get a knife. So, excuse me. Don't, don't try this at home, it's probably a bit dangerous. <laughs> Brilliant! Probably could have used a smaller knife. Or a knife in general. This, this is all I had to hand. And I'm considering I'm filming this in my kitchen. <sighs> cool, let's get to unboxing! So, first things first, uh, really personalised, you have the ever-wonderful uh, postcard from Beerbots, and I believe this is Matt and Gordon, the two of the directors of the company, and uh, yeah, enjoying a brew, what a lovely, what a lovely image of the guys, having a bit of banter, drinking a beer, isn't that nice? Hmm, interesting. Also, talking about glassware in the picture, Glasses are also available from the website, so you can get Craftmaster ones and Tekus and all sorts of amazing beer tasting glasses uh, for your for your tastings. Um, obviously, any glass you can have a glass, uh, a drink a beer in. However, there are ones that make you can get the scent from it more. You can get the, the swirl it round. You get the colours, the scent, the taste, everything a bit more. But it's a bit too much. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's 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 not go into it that much. Uh, you can discover that for yourself. Once you've subscribed, then you scroll down to shop and you buy yourself some treats. And it's Christmas soon, so definitely gift subscription, you know what I mean. The other thing is, uh, you get the Beer Bods Journal um, every uh, time I get one of these. Um, so every every quarter, because you will get four a year, um, because there's three months worth of beer in there. Um, and yeah, basically, four months, three, three months, yeah, I was right. Um, yeah, and it great stories from uh, breweries and beer and, and that sort of thing. Um, and that's something else that I forgot to mention uh, earlier. When you do have a beer from here, um, you then go onto the website and it actually has the full story of the brewery, how they came to be, how they created the specific uh, beer that they've made. Um, it's some really, really interesting uh, stories of how it all came about uh, from all these different breweries. So it's, it's again, a really great way to learn about the beer that you're drinking, not just ordering it from a tap, Pouring it into a glass, drinking it down, and going, mm, "Yeah, that Marston's generic ale is very, very good. I do love a Golding and a Fuggle." But we also have um, new things that they're doing here, so I'm going to, uh, yeah, read that a bit later. That's very exciting. I do enjoy enjoy that. Um, no, so what we're going to do? Um, first of all, we have. 
Harris Gear by Sky Brewery. Um, so, a premium cr premium craft ale from the Isle of Skye. So that's um, cool. So that looks like a nice four uh, percent, a superbly smoky, dry, and refreshing ale. Smoked malt. Cool. So yeah, again, looks very cool. Very nice. Look forward to that. I think that's actually uh, this week's beer, um, which is. Whatever today's date is, the 5th, 6th, 7th of November. I don't know dates. Whatever day this went up, this is going to go up on the Thursday that we'll be drinking this beer. So, I can understand if you're new and you haven't subscribed yet, you won't get this one. But um, hashtag beer bods on um, tonight, Thursday night, and you will see uh, what people think of this beer. And you can have um, and see what the banter's like. It's great. Um, Number two. Ugh. I love good quality artwork, and that is really cool. Um, so with this one, we're gonna we're gonna get closer. I will video each of these a bit closer so you can see them a bit better. Uh, but yeah, from Brewboard, uh, this is a um, what is this? A modern stout. That's very exciting. Um, I don't know what a modern stout is. I know what a stout is, but I don't know what's modern about it. By Father Grime. That's pretty cool uh, with the egg timer and that. So that's a again an awesome can. Other thing that people um, often think uh, about beers in cans, they always find them. I don't know. Again, I used to be that uh, way as well. I used to, if I saw a beer in a bottle, I'd go, "Ah, oh, buy the bottle because it's a beer. Beer should be in a bottle because traditionally beers and bottles go together." However, there are huge benefits to beers in cans, and what I'll let you do is I'll let you go to <coughs> Anthony Gladman's website, and he's not sponsoring this. He doesn't even know I'm doing this. Um, I we've messaged a couple of times, but he doesn't really know me. He's, he's going to get a lot of foot traffic now. Anyway, uh, yeah, and you can find out loads of stuff about that. And he's done a great uh, write-up there about why you should drink uh, or buy beers in cans or why the, the benefits to beers in cans over the beers in, in the bottles, which is fantastic. Next. Whoa. Bengali Six Point Brewery. Um, what is that? A Bengali IPA. So really interesting can as well. It's quite a thin, dunky looking can. So different to a normal can that you buy beer in because you've evidently a different size. But yeah, um, but you see what I mean about interesting and different beers. Like this type of beer, I probably see that on the shelf and I may not necessarily buy it. But when I drink this on the Thursday that it is, this might be my new favorite beer. Who knows? That's what's so exciting about it. It's like Christmas. Woo, what's down here? IT's blonde. So this is a blonde craft ale. Um, this brewery is from Holland. So yeah, it's a Dutch brewery. Um, and again, pure and craft. Yeah, sounds amazing. So yeah, um, again, awesome looking can, awesome looking drink, but another beer. Cool. Another bottled, so we now we have an IPA. Um, I'm not going to read that one, NYA Carnegie, because I can't read it. But it's an Indian Pale Ale, so an IPA, so a nice little IPA, little donkey bottle. Awesome. Sounds good. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Brickfield Brown, Five Points Brewing Company. A smooth brown ale with caramel malt character and notes of demerara and hazelnuts. Now that, to me, Sounds like Christmas in a bottle. That sounds great. I love dark ales, as I said previously in the video, but I do love all, everything now, but this is definitely something that sounds like my cup of tea. So looking forward to getting into that one. Then we have some awesome looking bottle. Twisted Barrel Ale, Beer Bods, Darkest Night, Spiced Belgian Double. That sounds amazing. Orange zest, hibiscus. Mm. All right. Full disclosure: I've had a hibiscus beer before, um, and I wasn't 
a massive fan, to be perfectly honest. However, I'm always willing to give uh, another beer, give it another chance, and uh, the art-wise, I really like it. I like the moon, I like the uh, the houses above it, above the houses. It's really cool. I like that. Awesome. Uh, let's get this one out. Ah, oh, we go. What's this one? Tangerine tart, sour tangerine ale. Cute little doggy on there. Um, yeah, you know what? Uh, I love sours. Um, that was a very new beer to, for me to have uh, when I started beer bods, and um, yeah, incredible uh, flavours you get from sour ales, um, sour beers, and yeah, looks looks good. Could be a very exciting box this one. What's this thing? <gasps> Shindiga, Mango Unchained. Haha, <laughs> see what they've done there, that's pretty cool. Um, I'm guessing lots of mango and uh, pineapple in that beer, and that sounds really good, so really fruity. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. Uh, that'll be a really good. Interesting beer, I'm sure. This one. Uh, tight. Tint Meadow English Trappist Ale, strong ale brewed by the monks of Mount St. Bernard Abbey, Charnwood Forest. That could be pretty cool. A strong dark ale. That is really cool. Yep, so traditional types of ale, but again, that really nice crafty kind of beer. How many have we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Seven, twelve. Two more to go. Right, and now we've got, oh, Dark Revolution Velveteen Chocolate Milk Stout. So again, um, really nice can, really nice artwork on the can. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, really like that. Uh, yeah, so that's really nice little. And this one's cool because it even tells you what type of glass to drink it in. Um, the ideal temperature on the back. Yeah. Uh, that's really cool. So that's a, uh, I'm looking forward to that one. That'd be really nice. And the last, but not least, we have <gasps> Rapture, a red hot ale. This uh, brewery, Magic Rock Brewing, are an amazing brewery and I've had a lot of their beers. Um, and yeah, looking forward to that because every time you get one of these cans from Magic Rock, they are generally phenomenal. Uh, they're like Thornbridge, never do a bad beer. I've not had a bad beer with them. I've said that, now I'm going to have a bad beer with them. But I don't think I will. I don't know. But this is, yeah, cool. And the artwork on the can, I love the artwork on the can. This sells it to me every time without me even really reading what type of ale it is or what type of beer it is. I'm like, I love these little guys. They're great. Uh, so yeah, uh, definitely are worth, uh, worth a try. Um, and that's it. Um, 12 beers, enjoyed over 12 weeks, um, and I hope you join us because it's a phenomenal uh, subscription box, great team behind behind it, so go check Beer Bods out, go to their beerbods.co.uk, uh, subscribe, get someone you, you know or love, get them a subscription box, they'll enjoy it, join the conversation online and remember to drink better beer. Thank you very much. Bye!